know what time it is, you know. We're live streaming today, you know. We're here to call out some coons today. I got I to play my music, you know. Coon train is coming. What about black on coon black crime? Coon train is coming. Where the white women at? Coon train is coming. All white people ain't bad. Coon train is coming. We is our own worst enemy. Coon train is coming. What about black on black crime? Coon train is coming. Where the white women at? Coon train is coming. All white people ain't bad. All right, let me let me let me cancel that. Let me cancel that. Let me cancel that. Welcome to the check-in report, ladies and gentlemen. Live streaming today. Today we are here to call out the Confederate Coons. The, yes, the Confederate Coons. H.K. Egerton and Mr. Daniel Sims. You know, I didn't think people like this existed when I was younger. I didn't think people like this existed. I didn't think that was people that were, you know, of, of African descent, of black American descent, you know, descendants of slaves that could, you know, be so counter culture, so counter to everything that that was against them but you know these two men that i i attempt to show you mr daniel sims and mr hk egerton are proud of the the, the the confederacy the confederate army the traitors to the union the traitors of the country and let's be honest because you know a lot of people they like to talk about the Confederacy, uh, you know, a lot of uh, South Southern people, they hold a lot of, you know, uh, pride in that. You know, they, they they look at it look at it as a form of uh, patriotism, but l let's look at it like this: those men that you know were a part of the Confederacy, they were considered terrorists. They were considered domestic terrorists to break away from the union and to declare war on its own country how was that patriotic how was you know the, and, and, and you know they're tearing down a lot of statues now you know of, of confederate uh, uh generals like uh you know I, I don't have the name i think one of them was um stonewall um there was a um uh, um a statue that was toppled down in many places in the states and you know these men were traitors and you know a lot of these statues you know they were a reminder to the black people in that community and the black people of those towns and then those states they were a reminder of the oppression they were a, a, a reminder of white supremacy they were a reminder that black people were considered less than human. And we're going to, you know, we're going to play the videos of Mr. Daniel Sims and Mr. H.K. Edgerton, two Confederate coons that are uh, extremely counterculture. And um, it, it, clearly there's, a, there's an amount of self-hatred, but I believe that, you know, these are two Southern good old boys. <laughs> Two cornbread eating niggas, you know. But let's get to the first video. The first video is of Mr. Daniel Sims, I believe. It's of Mr. Daniel Sims, and I want to play this one video first. Please. And I'm Siobhan Bryan. Two different groups facing off today in Marshall County. One demanding the removal of Confederate symbols. Mr. Daniel Sims. The, Marshall County Courthouse. the other side demanding they stay put. The assembly over now, but WHT News 19's Tiffany Lester joins us live to tell us what each side had to say. Tiffany. The Confederate flag is still waving and this statue honoring Confederate soldier Captain John Rayburn is still standing out. These are Confederate flags and these are Confederate statues that resemble a time in America that black people were considered less than human. This 
you know, the Confederate flag and the Confederate statues. These are a, a, a remembrance. These are, they, they, they remain a, a staple in these communities and they represent oppression. They represent, you know, black people being treated less than human. And, you know, we have these Confederate coons around the country because, you know, this it's not just Daniel Sims. There's another guy, H.K. Egerton. And we're going to listen to these guys' stories and listen to these guys' takes. Outside the courthouse in Albertville, it's something many Marshall County residents are happy about. But others, including these demonstrators who have been out here since noon and are actually still going strong, not so much. Representatives from Say Their Names Alabama say that they want the flag and the statue removed, stating that mm. they represent hate and white supremacy. Say Their Names Alabama members demonstrating in Albertville, fighting for the removal and relocation of the Confederate flag and monument at Marshall County courthouses. The rebel flag does not represent all Americans, so it should not be at a place where all Americans in the county come, which is the courthouse. So it is out of place, and it has been out of place since they placed it here in 2005. Unique Dunstan's organization wants the statues to be relocated to either the Albertville Museum or nearby cemetery where other Confederate veterans have been laid to rest. As ugly and hateful um, the Confederacy was, it is our history. So I think it is a compromise that we're willing to make to relocate it to somewhere that doesn't stand for justice as our courthouses do. But Say Their Names Alabama has some opposition from about two dozen members and supporters of the Sons of Confederate Veterans. Regardless how the Look at this coon right here. Got the Confederate hat on. Got the, you know, look at this coon look at this coon look at this man feels, i'm not gonna take my flag down if i got anything to do with it ain't no money this is not your flag sir this is the flag that your ancestors were raped under this is the flag sir that your ancestors was was castrated under this is the flag sir that your, your your ancestors were thought of of less than human. Where is the culture? That flag represents not only does it represent rape, uh, uh, racism, not only does it represent you know um, uh, oppression, but it also represents domestic terrorism. That flag is no better than an ISIS flag. It's no better than a Taliban flag. It's no better than a Nazi flag. It's, it's, it has no culture. Its culture is rooted in, 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 in white supremacy and domestic terrorism. But then you got these, you know, these, these, these Confederate coons you know that they, they've been they've been depressed and, they, and, and 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 they've been brought up in a, in a, in a racist culture and you know what they, 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 they they're they, they're they're complacent and they're fine in this and, and and this is how they've been raised let's hear mr daniel sims he ain't gonna come down daniel sims. he sounds like a white man sims says he was a doctor they're not gonna come down Take my flag down. It's not your flag, man. Adopted as a child. My whole family's white. Went to all white school. Grew up in all white neighborhood. My grandfather was white. And what a, what a what a what a contradiction. And I just heard him say his grandfather was white. Let me let me replay that. I didn't hear that part. I didn't hear that part when he said his grandfather was white. White school. Grew up in all white neighborhood. My grandfather was white. See, there you go. He grew up in an all-white neighborhood. His grandfather was white. I don't know how true that is because he's a extremely dark-skinned man. But let's just look into the fact of he grew up in an all-white neighborhood. He grew up in an all-white neighborhood where I'm I'm sure, I'm sure maybe not to his face, but I'm pretty sure all of his friends were white. I'm pretty sure a couple of his white friends, you know. Dad probably were a part of the Ku Klux Klan. I'm sure of it. And you know this this this, this man is just it, it, it's just it's it's just I don't I don't I I can't really begin to understand. 
I, I, I just don't understand how a, a, a person of color could look at that flag that's on the screen there and, and have any type of pride in it, have any type of respect, have any type of, 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 of um, attachment to it. It represents everything. It, rep it represents everything that is against black people. It represents everything. And I remember when Kanye was running around, he had it sold to his jacket, running around town with a flight jacket with a Confederate flag attached to it, looking like a straight up coon platoon. Nonsense. Let's and play he this. Was the main one that fought in this war here, and he's taught me everything I know. He this explains guy, how he'd feel if the statues and flag were relocated. It may make my blood boil if they just come up here and feel like they can just tear it. It may make my blood my blood boil. My, my, my blood boil. Why is it making your blood boil, sir? Why? As I stated, black people were raped, lynched, murdered, castrated, whipped. Generations and generations of, 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 of black men and women gave free labor under that flag. And even the American flag. And listen, I have my issues with the American flag as well. But that flag, that Confederate flag, is completely against black people. And, and, and it's, it's, that flag is considered, it's a domestic terrorist flag, if you ask me. It's a domestic terrorist flag. And not only is it that, it, it, it's, it's against everything that black people stand for. It's against, it's against our freedom. It's against our liberties. It's against our justice. It's against our humanity, our civilization. And then you have these, you know, these, these, these Confederate coons that grew up in all white neighborhoods with all white friends on the, uh, uh, um, um, you know, over the Mason Dixon line. Grew up on pork and beans and bologna sandwiches, extra mayonnaise, and then, then they out here buck dancing. He over here took about my blood on bar, my blood on bar. They took down them flag, um, took down the man, 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 potato chips. They got my blood on bar. Why is your blood boiling, sir? Why is it boiling? You're a Confederate coon. You're cooning to the highest level. He don't even know he's cooning. He's so, he's so, he, 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 he. Let's, let's, let's play the video. Damn. I don't see me still living if they do that right there. That monument ain't hurting nobody. That oh monument ain't killing my soul. It ain't talking bad to nobody. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't even racist. Pitiful. But Dunstan says she's confident her group will be successful in getting the flag and monuments removed. Cooning to the highest degree. To the highest degree. Now, I have another video that I want to play. It's another video of Mr. H.K. Egerton, another Confederate coon that is cooning to the highest degree. These men are attached to a flag that doesn't serve a purpose to them. You're, you know, let's be real. These men... If these men lived back then, let's take it to a deeper level. If these men lived back then, well, that flag was still relevant, was still prevalent, and was still, you know, f flying high in, 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 in those, you know, Civil War days. These men would be house slaves. These are the modern day house niggas. You know, just like, you know, we, we talk about the, 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 the Gina the genealogical, you know, um, we talk about uh, how, you know, uh, football players were, you know, uh, uh, how the, their genes were, you know, pretty much grafted from, like, the field slave. That's why you have these big buck southern boys out there running, you know, because th these were the field slaves. These were the men that were doing the labor and the work in the fields. These were the, these were the big, you know, Buck Negroes that did all the field work and that did all the the heavy lifting of the, of, of, of uh, in the plantation, and these proof of the genealogical house Negroes. 
these niggas, these, these, these niggas are broken down. These niggas are ready to serve the white man, ready to, you know, to, to, to follow his every whim, willing to die. That man said his blood was boil if that flag and that and that, and that statue was, was, was um taken down. He said he won't be able to live. This man finds no purpose if the the flag that represents his oppression, the flag that represents his his his, his genocide doesn't fly anymore. That's pure house niggardry. That's house negro one o one. What did Malcolm X say? You know, what, what the house slave would say when the when the master was sick. When the master was sick, he would say, is we sick, master? Is we sick, master? You know, if, if, if the master in his house caught on fire, what would the house slave say? Is our house on fire? And what he would, what would, what he read, what, what, what would he do? He he would be he would be trying to save the house uh, more than, than the master would, and this is what this is this is what this is this is exactly what Malcolm X taught the modern day house Negroes. This man found this these two men find solace in a fortress in their oppression, in their genocide, in their murder. It's disgusting. Mr. Daniel Sims. And now let me get to this man, Mr. H.K. Edgerton. Another man that I wanted to, you know, I wanted to play his video because he's another one. A Confederate coon out here cooning to the highest bit. Now I want I want you to hear this man's banter. Mr. H.K. Edgerton. He's going to talk for a while. I want you to listen to his banter. He's another Confederate coon. Let's listen. I came here in objection to uh, the way the thugs removed the Confederate cemetery. Now listen. He's already calling people that people that are in disagreement with a flag that represents such a dark time. Such a disgusting time, such a, 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 a genocidal time, such a, a, a have no regard for human life. He, he, he's so disgusted and he's calling people thugs that are tired of being oppressed and are tired of looking at a flag that represents everything that they are against. Let's listen to this coon. Let's 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 listen. To this. Out to silence them on Thursday, and also it's been very rewarding to have a dialogue with some of these students and, and a few of their professors. Uh, especially, not only did they remove the the, con the Confederate cenotaph, but they deemed it to be a racist uh, object. Those ladies from the Memorial Association, they start building these cenotaphs. They knew that the Confederate Army was an integrated army. Unlike the Union Army, those monuments were built for to red, yellow, black, white, and brown soldiers. It just so happened that these baby boys were here in the school studying. And <clears throat> William Tess Thomas Sherman's men, Ulysses S. Grant's men, came to the Southland of America with, with, with Abraham Lincoln's General Order 200 to take the theater war to the innocent old men, women, and defenseless old men, women, and children. Rape, rob, kill them, burn them out. Do anything you can do to break the spirit of the Southern folk, and, this, and especially the Southern Army. These baby boys knew that the men were away. They came out of their classroom to defend these people against the carnage that was taking place. Not only just the white folks, but the black folks as well. So... Now look at this Confederate coon. This is a Confederate coon right here. And he's talking a bunch of nonsense. A bunch of non-pure Nonsense, Mr. H.K. Egerton. No black men served on the Confederate Army. There were no good old Southern boys. There were no good old Southern black boys on the Confederate Army, sir. 
you know, I, I had to do some Google researching. If 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 they, you know, maybe maybe I had to I had to look it up just to make sure, because you know, maybe there were some 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 uh, Yankee Doodle Negroes back then. But I do some Wikipedia research, you know. I, I, that's not really my forte of research. I rather look up, you know, a more uh, reliable sir, uh, source of information. But here we can see that blacks did not serve in the Confederate Army as troops. Blacks were not merely recruited. Service was actively forbidden. Forbidden by the Confederacy for the majority of its existence. And slaves, blacks were sometimes used for camp labor. However, other times when a son or sons of a slaveholding family enlisted, he would take along a family, he would take a, he would take along a slave, excuse me. Let me go back. Ah, oh, man, hold on. I don't have my glasses on. I took them off for a second. Actually, I do have them on. I'm bugging. But they were, um, where was I? Um, uh, where was I? Okay. Uh, pretty much it's saying that, you know, the, the slaves back then, when they were enlisted on the Confederate Army, that they were pretty much used as, you know, people to, to help with supplies, help with things of that nature. But they weren't enlisted and they weren't on the front lines and they weren't fighting and they weren't doing anything of that nature. They were out there to be slaves and they did not fight for the the right. He's he, he's he's like conjuring up some love story, some southern good old boy love story where black people and white people racist men were side by side fighting for the confederate army sir that did not happen that's a falsity that's a lie that you conjured up in your negro spiritual head you're a broken negro you're a house negro you're a magical negro <laughs> and these are the confederate coons these men these are and these are some southern boys, but you know we, we still have some Confederate Negroes in the North, in New York, all over. And that's my take today. You know, I wanted to come here and do a live stream and just talk about the the, the, the cooning. You know, I, and just like I said earlier in this video, I didn't think these people exist. I didn't think these people existed. I didn't think we had literal Clayton Bigsby's literal. Uncle Ruckus's running around with look, look 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 at Mr. Daniel Sims with that Confederate flag. He the man said he wouldn't be able to live if that flag and that statue came down. This is a flag that represents everything that is against the black man and black woman. And this man said he would have no 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 purpose in life. If this flag didn't hang anymore, that flag represents domestic terrorism. Those men that joined it in those states that all came together and that, that all came to get came together and that represented the Confederacy, they were considered domestic terrorists. Just like you know, um, a, just like you know, back when uh, the American Revolution started. When those pilgrims came over to the to the New World, and you know they they threw those um they they, they threw uh, Britain's tea into the waters, and they told them that we we would not be taxed by you, and we would not be paying you this amount of money, and we we do not want to be under your rulership, and not under we don't we don't want to pay your taxes, and they went to war with 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 the with with, with, the, with the king at that time. They were considered domestic terrorists, just like. Um, the Confederacy, you went against the government, you went against the Union, came together to go against the United States of America. You were considered domestic terrorists at that time, at that point. So what in, in what in tarnation, I want to use the, the good old Southern language, what in tarnation, no, I just feel like I, I, need a, I need a bowl of uh, pork and beans when I say that. What in tarnation 
does a confederate flag have to do with patriotism what does it have to do with you know loving your country what does it have to do with americana what does it have to do with that in my opinion it has nothing to do with it it represents domestic terrorism and especially in the case of black people where we have these two confederate coons it represents oppression it represents a time in America where black people were thought less than of than human, less than of dogs. It's a disgusting manner to see black people acting like house Negroes in 2020. It's a, it, 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 it hurts my soul to see these two brothers. Well, I can't even call them brothers because, I mean, no, nothing that they said out of their mouths is, is something that I can relate to. These are two broken house Negroes. And you, you you can bet your bottom dollar if we were back in those times, these two men would be the overseers. These two men would be the house Negroes. These would be the two men ratting you out as you broke in your chains and ran off into the woods. These would be the two men that told the master that you wasn't working hard enough and that you got tired of being whipped on your back. These are the two men. Because these are the type of Negroes you got to watch out for. And, you know, in, in reality, these are, because uh, I, 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 these are the, t these are the type of two men you got to watch out for. These are Confederate coons. And this is proof that, because, you know, we, just like I said, if we look at the genealogical of, you know, uh, 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 football players and we see how big and strong they are and we see how you know that was a benefit of, of what slavery did to the black man it made him uh, more uh, you know you, you, when you look at football you can tell that these were men that went through slavery these were the ancestors of slavery it, it, it's, 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 it's written in their genes and then when you look at these two men I think that notion is ever prevalent these are two men that were house negroes at one time <laughs> these are two men that you know they 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 were in master's house they, they they ate the best foods they they wore the best clothes they ratted out uh uh, uh negroes when they, when they ran away and then they didn't do field work these were the overseers of that time and we have them in 2020 you know, thank you for joining me. This is my Confederate Coon stream. I wanted to, I was trying to do this video yesterday, but I was having a lot of technical difficulties. But I just wanted to, you know, talk to you guys today because I seen these video, I seen this video of the first Daniel Sims. And it just really annoyed me. And it really disgusted me to see that we still have modern day house Negroes in America, you know, black people all around the world are fighting to get the chains off fighting for their freedoms fighting to be treated like a human being and we we have black people that are so counterculture so against everything so, so against everything that the the world is pushing for the world is pushing for freedom for freedom for the, for the for the black man freedom for the black woman justice for the black man justice for the black woman and here we have these two yankee doodle coon negroes fighting against their freedoms fighting against their justice for themselves you got this coon daniel says with the, with the with the confederate flag he got his little confederate dad hat on you know got a little turtle on got a little button-up shirt tied up tight you know black people like i mean it's just it just really disgusts me and it's really disheartening to see this and you know i just wanted to come here and talk to you guys today you know this was just a wanted to give a stream to you guys to talk about this and um my name is true and living i'm gonna be getting out of here i think i may be doing a live stream later tonight make sure you join me thank you for joining me today thank you for joining me and uh I'll see you guys maybe later tonight. We'll see what happens. Uh, thank you for joining me.